Hello everyone and welcome to Memory Flow where we discuss fragrance and fragrance collecting and welcome to another video. Today we are talking about Musque Outre Blanc. Finally, this is the latest uh, release. Uh, this is very, very new, very fresh. Uh, it's been released um, on the European market at least uh, on the 20th of January this year. So this has, this is eight days old. Uh, this just arrived uh, me from Plas Vendôme. Uh, this is I just filmed I just uh, filmed the, the Romanian version of this video uh, and yeah this is this is very exciting so we will be talking about Musque Outre Blanc this is my very first bottle um, of the new Latte La Matière line uh, this is the very first time I'm holding a full-size bottle this is the 200 milliliter bottle and uh, as you can see that the details um, the crafting is is pretty nice I mean the bottles feel feel as they should they're quite uh, expensive feeling they 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 do have an attention to detail uh, which i've come to be to expect from this house from Guerlain. um just one minor gripe uh, that i have with the with the packaging i guess uh it's it's simpler it's just it's cardboard i mean it's it's not the same as um it's not as interesting or as elegant as the previous uh, boxes that they had uh, for uh, the Latte La Matière. Yeah, I just I just loved those. I was a huge fan of those um, boxes that they use for their entire exclusive lines the one that um, you can the close the, the faux leather bottles uh, the aubergine bottles boxes sorry um, they were so nice but yeah what what are you going to do this uh, these are i guess um, easier to recycle and i guess most people throw them away either way so it shouldn't matter but for people like me um this uh, this stuff kind of matters especially especially when we're considering the price point for this uh, this is 425 euros uh which is quite a lot this is quite dear uh, <laughs> that's this is not a cheap uh, cheap fragrance this is uh, well Guerlain did um, increase their prices with the uh, the revamp of their uh, exclusive line so yeah um so i already know how this smells i already did this but i will do this again maybe not that much as <laughs> as the last video um when i went all all nuts this is um i i just love this fragrance the the the, the opening is so good it's it's that green uh pungent uh, bitter citrus um, almost violet almost violet um, but what is extremely beautiful about this fragrance is the way that they use the iris but I am getting ahead of myself because um, I want to say that the reason I bought this this is this was a blind buy for me because I this, as I said it's it's just been released um, and I wouldn't have um, had any other opportunity to smell it first because uh, there is no uh, Galan boutique where I am and they don't um, I don't think they have the Galan exclusives in my country as far as I know um, but the reason I, I bought this um, is because there were rumors um, and it was kind of obvious that this would be um, a reinterpretation of a previous an older scent that they used to have which was Leur Blanche uh, and this is something I did talk about uh, Leur Blanche uh, this was an exclusive that they made only a few bottles of it has it had a gorgeous full white bottle um, the name of course was was amazing Leur Blanche uh, the the white hour uh, which is of course um, 
an homage to Le Bleu, uh, which is another famous, that's saying something, a famous scent that they have uh, there at Guerlain. It's one of their staple scents, Le Blanc, uh, Le Leur Bleu. Um, but uh, apart from that, Leur Blanche, uh, which I did try, I, this is all I have of Leur Blanche. This was a gorgeous scent. I did like it. It is um, a Neroli musk white scent, which is, um, is interesting because it's quite milky. It has this creamy, milky accord, which is not very powerful, um, not very um, obvious. Not uh, The fragrance itself is medium, medium projection, medium anything. Um, it does quite it does last quite a lot on my skin it comes and goes and it's very interesting um, so I don't know how to say this the fragrance is this this musk outre blanc is and isn't similar to leur blanche and as I am spraying this as I spray this for uh, let me just grab my cat because he's yowling he's yowling for attention um i hope you like white musks buddy um this is the third or fourth time i've uh, sprayed this today and it's very changing it's every time i smell it um it's changing I, i'm still getting to know it i still don't know it and it's very very elusive in terms of um what it actually smells like and this is very interesting because it is and it isn't similar to Leur Blanche in the way that Rose Chéri is similar and isn't with uh, French Kiss, which is, an, is another um, pair of fragrances that, uh, well, French Kiss has been um, repurposed, uh, transformed for uh, the, the Larts and Materials line um, into, well, sort of into uh, Rose Chéri. But I do have a video on that if you're curious. So this Musque Outre Blanc, it's interesting. So the way that this musk, the way that they do this musk in here is very, very um, new to me because I was expecting that um, extremely white, extremely clean um, laundry, um, laundry detergent musk um, that we're kind of used to these days um, sort of like the musks that they use in um, La Colonne du Parfumeur or um, their line of Aqua Allegoria um, which I did talk about recently also um, but no this is quite this is quite different this is this is a little uh, this musk has a little funk it does remind me at times of uh, Musk Noble from um, their other line, what, what's it called, um, uh, Les Absolus d'Orient, but it's not that dirty. I mean, Musk, Musk Noble is really dirty. That's a dirty mask. This is not, this is not that dirty, but it does have that bit of funk which is so good because it makes it interesting i love this i love it um then again another thing that i love is um the way so so yes this is an orange blossom citrusy fresh scent um it's very clean it's very light it's a happy scent it's also very elegant um it is extremely refined it's extremely refined and i i know i say this quite a lot um but this i mean this feels just so elegant this feels um this feels like an exclusive this doesn't feel like so Leur Blanche, and I know I'm probably judging it harshly and pretty, I mean, this sample is not enough for me to get to know Leur Blanche. The people that, that own a full bottle of Leur Blanche that were fortunate enough to buy it, uh, that was very expensive, by the way, that was uh, over 600 euros. Um, 
I'm sorry to them, but I don't know that fragrance, uh, Leur Blanche, as well as you do. Um, but Leur Blanche, to my nose, was maybe a little simpler, not to say that it wasn't gorgeous, um, but it, it was a bit simpler and it kind of had that more of an aqua allegoria vibe. Uh, when I smelled it, um, I couldn't find, I couldn't detect any of the iris at all uh, but in this one there's an iris and the iris is quite it's 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 there you can feel it you can recognize it it's it's that um papery light woody iris it's it's the oris uh, and you can imagine um you can imagine an iris that has been blanched um, because it's not flowery almost at all this is not uh muscoutre blanc is not a flowery scent i was expecting i was kind of afraid of it being too flowery um that would have been interesting as well but it is not something i wanted i didn't want another white floral or another rose it does have hints of rose in it and hints of a flowery smell which of course comes from um, that orange blossom which is there but that's very very delicate so imagine an iris that's been just blanched and all of the flowery aspects have been uh, drenched from it um, with the exception of that gorgeous powder um, which is so good it's good yeah it's delicious uh, there's ambery it's the same amber from um, Le Blanche uh, it's the same um, milky um, almost uh, there's a cookie vibe there's a cookie vibe from uh, from Le Blanche um, and, and Teatsura because they are they do share this similarity of a milk tea with cookies yeah so that's there um it's very slightly vanillic it's it's good that's that's all i can say it's something that's not new for the house of galan but it's new enough in order to um, see it as a standalone addition to at least La Telamatia, if not their entire portfolio. Um, it's not something you can easily find in their portfolio and there definitely isn't, isn't something um, that smells extremely close to this um, in, uh, in their line, in their current line. So yeah, that's, that's a good thing because you know, Guerlain is, you can fault them for being uh, derivative at times. There are many fragrances that are just plain derivative. And I'm not talking about flankers. I'm talking about the fact that, uh, for example, um, Chalimar Millésime smells extremely close to uh, Bois d'Arbeni. They are very similar in terms of the way that benzoin is done. Of course, it has... Milazim has that Shalimar um, print, you know that um, that Shalimar feel, which you can, you you know it's there. You know you're smelling the Shalimar flanker, but it's still it's extremely close to Bois d'Armeni. So another, um, oh God, this is so beautiful. Um, I think uh, I think I will let this settle for a bit. Uh, if necessary, I will get back to that. But another thing I wanted to talk to you about today is um, this little sample that I got here, which is Oeille Pourpre. This is something I did talk about because uh, I did in the last months or so, when they were starting to change uh, the, the Latte La Matia line, I did put out a video on Lui and how Lui has become Oeille Pourpre. This is what we knew at that point, uh, but at that point I hadn't smelled Oeille Pourpre because it wasn't even released. And now I did. I did and I have it here on this blotter and I also have Lui here on this blotter here um and from what i because i know i just told you i filmed another video in romanian 
and they are identical. This is, I, I'm, I'm sure this is the, the third time I'm smelling these uh, side by side. This is the third time I'm comparing them side by side and they are identical. Um, I don't know how to comment on this. Um, I don't know even if I need to comment on this. Uh, it's something that was kind of expected. Then again, I kind of hoped because I am I am such a fan of Lee. I love this one. I have three. I have two other bottles of Lee. Um, I, I I was kind of expecting um, a reorchestration of the scent. I I don't want more of the same. But then again, this is not addressed to me. I already have this scent, and I will not be purchasing a year purple because I don't see the point. Then again, I have to, I just have to say this. This was a fragrance that sold for 160 euros for 50 milliliters. That was the largest. Uh, quantity available and now it is being sold for 425 euros for 200 milliliters um, which I mean it's more or less the same price I mean you could you could make the argument that it's cheaper now but I'm not I'm not sure um, because it's easier to to get um, a smaller quantity than to go for the. Of course, they do sell the um, the hundred milliliter bottles for two ninety five hundred uh, two hundred ninety five euros, which is quite a lot. That's that's definitely not cheap. <laughs> but yeah, um, these are the price increases for um, for the House of Galan, which is well, they're not the only one. Dior is doing this. Chan uh, Chanel is doing this even some niche perfumers have started doing this so yeah it's it's the pandemic pr the the pandemic uh, prices are going up uh, they assume that because we are staying more indoors um, we are not traveling as much we are not spending that much money on uh, on traveling on whatever uh, that we have more money and we should increase the prices. I don't know. I'm not sure uh, This is the right uh, Thing to say I have no idea, but this is what they're doing um, So yeah, uh, yeah Pupe is is very much similar. It's to my nose identical to Lee um, The bottle well, the, the whole line has the same bottles, so the bottles are nice. Uh, the color of the juice is, is so gorgeous. It's it's this deep purple because Oeille Pupre means um, purple carnation. Um, and if I'm to be completely honest, it I don't know if I'm just uh, influenced by the title, but maybe, just maybe, Oeille Pupre has uh, a bit of a more floral side to it but just a teeny bit they're they're so 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 similar i i couldn't so if you gave these to me uh, i would if i would were to make a blindfold test i wouldn't be able to tell you which was which i wouldn't i wouldn't maybe uh because lui seems to be a bit more powerful and it kind of has that um it has more of a bite um which is yeah neither here nor there so um there you have it this was my review my hot take on Muscoutre Blanc of course I will be returning with further impressions of this because I don't know this fragrance I, I'm just very excited to have it it's just so I love it I this was a blind buy this was um this is right up my alley it's because of that iris I, I love the way that they do iris and perfumery it is quite similar and quite dissimilar to Leur Blanche but then again in, in Muscoutre Blanc there are because of that iris there are um, much more references to uh, Leur Bleu which is a, uh, is a thing that I love uh, it's in keeping with the tone of the house and all I can say is bravo bravo Delphine Yelk Yes, this is a good fragrance that you've given us. So thank you. Thank you so much.
so yeah there you have it um, this uh, this was my uh, hot takes of Musk Outre Blanc if you have uh, any more questions uh, regarding well everything we've talked about today or anything else do feel free to hit me up in the comments I will I would love to to answer to you and until next time remember fragrance creates memories and may yours be happy